Hello everybody and Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Arlissa Williams and today I want to talk to you all about what I recently purchased at Victoria's Secret and BH Cosmetics. So first I'm going to start with the items that I picked up at Victoria's Secret. Okay, when I saw this in the store I just could not resist. This is the Hollow Glow Lip Top Coat in the color Electric Blush. If I put it too close to the light, it's not going to show up, but as you can see, it's like this really cool looking orangey, whitish red holographic color. And I'm actually wearing it on top of my lipstick now. You can't really see it very well on camera, but as I shift side to side, it goes from looking like a, a reddish color to an orange color. I love it. Even though this is a lip topper, you can wear it just as a lip gloss by itself. I think it looks really cool with or without a lipstick color underneath. The next and final item that I picked up at Victoria's Secret is the Hollow Glow uh, Lip Top Coat in the color Ultraviolet. I can probably see that it's like this very cool purple color. But the interesting thing about it is that it doesn't show up in regular sunlight. It only shows up in um, in um, fluorescent lights. So if you go to a club or to an event where there's going to be fluorescent lights, you're going to um, be able to see the um, pretty violet color. Again, this is holographic, so it may show up as a different color. Who knows? But I thought it was really cool and really interesting, so I just had to get two of them. <laughs> I think that this color is really cool. So. Um, like I said, it doesn't show up in regular lighting or sunlight, so you can wear it all day as a regular clear gloss or maybe on top of your um, your lipstick during the day, and then at night you can step into the club with some lips that possibly glow in the dark. Guys, I'm kidding. I don't I don't think it glows in the dark, but that would be pretty cool if it did. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you a few of the items that I picked up um, at BH Cosmetics. Well, actually, I didn't pick them up. They were kind of dropped off at my house because I ordered them online. Which, okay. So, this is the Duo Highlight um, 9 Color um, Highlighter Palette. So, when you open it up, you get this nice big old mirror. Because I know that's the main thing everybody wants when they order a palette. So, in this palette, you get um, highlighter toppers on the top. Dang it, I just stabbed it with my nail. So you get highlighter toppers at the top. Um, this gold one, um, in my opinion, looks very nice on um, on deeper skin tones. This is the color Top It Off. The next one is a very bright shimmery pink that I think a deeper skin tone could pull off as well. And this last one is the highlight topper. So basically what these do is intensify the colors that you apply on the bottom. But this um, bright silvery shade, I like to put it on top of my eyeshadow. And if it's a, a matte shade and just kind of give it a little bit of shimmer. So um, the second shade is called Top Notch. The last shade is called Top Secret. And the... The first one on the bottom is called a Double Trouble. Um, these two, Double Trouble and the next one is Double Date. These are some very intense gold highlighters. Um, if I could compare these two to any other highlighter, it would be um, the Fenty Beauty um, Trophy Wife highlighter. And there's another one that she made. I can't remember, can't exactly remember the name, but... These really remind me of them. Um, these two pink shades in the middle, in my opinion, were kind of too intense for my skin tone, I think. And the two in the middle are called Double Whammy and Double Time. And then there's the last two, which is Double Take and Double Up. This purple shade, um, I just didn't think that it was a very good highlight shade for at least for my skin I didn't think it was very um, wearable but it is a nice eyeshadow and so is the um, the lighter purple one that's right next to it and they both have kind of like an iridescent look I 
I think I'll go ahead and make another video soon where I try out the different shades so that you can see how they work with uh, a deeper skin tone. Next, I ordered the Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette, and this is the original one. I just love the packaging. She is doing her thing. Yes, mama. You open it up and you're gonna get a very nice mirror. And then you're also going to see very bright and colorful um, matte eyeshadow shades. What I really love about this palette is that it has every single color that I love. It's got um, yellow, it's got greens, it's got deep purples, it's got pinks, oranges, and then you have sort of your neutral shades um, on the lower bottom, on the bottom. And then um, you also have these two different white shades here. The first one, um, that's like underneath the pink, it has like some, it's kind of like an iridescent eyeshadow. When I tried it, I thought that it was just like a sparkly white, but it actually comes out gold. And it, to me, makes a good highlight. So I highlighted my cheek, um, with my cheeks with it. The black, the black is matte. So, yeah. And then um, this white that's on the very end, it has like blue reflex in it. Um, I think that it's gorgeous. But actually, that's a bit wrong. This, uh, the second white color is actually um, comes off as teal. And this is really, really pretty. Um, really pretty on your eyes. This is a really, really, um, this is a really pretty color to me. It is usually so hard for me to find eyeshadow palettes that have reds in them. And then also there's like, there's a bright matte red. And then there's kind of like a, a deeper, more shimmery um, cherry looking red, which is my absolute favorite. And I really like, I love the variations of the colors. Like they don't just have bright colors, they have bright and dark colors. With most palettes, I'll see a few bright colors and then all of the other colors are, um, are neutral. I just love lots of color. And this palette really hits the spot for me. I also ordered the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition. And yes, both of the palettes um, come inside the sleeve with another beautiful woman doing her thing. <laughs> so again, you get a, you do get a mirror and you get all of uh, the beautiful shades that you also saw in the original palette. So yeah, pretty much they're about the same. Except these are the shimmer shades. Okay, okay. My favorite, favorite colors that are in this palette are these two um, white shimmer shades in the bottom. The, this one right here has a lot of um, red glitter reflex in them, and it is very, very gorgeous. Um, these, these two white shades are, are very, very intense and very sparkly. This one has um, red glitter, and the other one has um, a beautiful blue glitter in it. And again, you have all of these beautiful colors. Um, you have your bright pinks, dark pinks, orange, yellow, green, purple, blues, all of the beautiful colors that I love that are in the rainbow. I'm just gonna do a quick comparison of both of the palettes. Um, they both, in my opinion, have very beautiful, vibrant, and pigmented um, colors that apply very easily. They're not um, very chalky, in my opinion. They apply very smooth. If you're the kind of person who prefers neutrals and cool shades, these two palettes might not be um, the palettes for you. But if you are a person who loves color, bright, fun, sparkles, and glitters, I think that the Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette would be the palette for you. And free with my order, I also received the uh, BH Rose Gold brush set, which comes in this lovely little case right here. This print, so for some reason, kind of reminds me of Gucci. But, um, so yeah, so you open it up. And you get all of these lovely little brushes here. 
So of course, you know, you got your powder brush, your blush brush, um, foundation, highlighter, concealer. And then you have um, the angled eyeshadow brush. Um, this could be a crease brush or it could be a smudging brush. I will find out later. <laughs> And then I also have, um, I think this is the pencil brush. Um, I have two eyeshadow brushes and yeah. So the rest of these are for eyeshadow and then you get to the little skinnier ones. These are, I have an angled, I have an angled eyeliner brush and I also have a, I have another eyeliner brush but this one I think I'm gonna go ahead and use as a lip brush and then I have um, of course a spoolie and an eyebrow and eyelash groomer when I received this with my order I was so happy because I did not know that I was gonna get it and I wanted some new brushes so badly. <laughs> so thank you. So that is everything that I've recently purchased from Victoria's Secret and BH Cosmetics. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my Fuchsia Bay YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed new year. Mwah.